Hello and welcome back to SK1 Kiss and uh, my yesterday's video was about that why you need mathematics to actually understand physics or physical principles and without the mathematics because when you don't understand mathematics uski nahi samajhte, you are not actually able to solve the problems and when you don't solve the problems then you don't understand that concept ko nahi samajh sakte, and you don't understand what you want to say exactly and what does, it, what does it say or what does it actually say mean so that is a certain loop quantum gravity physicist so uh, john bedge and he even mentioned in, mentions in one of his articles that unless you can solve problems of quantum mechanics you cannot either learn what quantum mechanics tells you so here being able to solve the problems is really quite an important thing in order to understand what that theory is specifically telling you ab aisa nahi hai ki jo uske over complications usme hote ऐसा नहीं है कि आप उसके सारे प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व कर सको ऑफ कोर्स दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो इट इज समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट्स f इक्वल्स m ए द क्वेश्चन इज डू यू अंडरस्टैंड f इक्वल्स m ए वेल पूरी क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स f इक्वल्स m ए पे ही बेस्ड है तो इफ दैट कम्स अलोंग अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ जे ई एडवांस्ड फॉर इंस्टेंस एंड अगर मैं उस क्वेश्चन को दैट क्वेश्चन बिलोंग्स टू क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स एंड मैं उस क्वेश्चन को नहीं सॉल्व कर पा रहा हूं सो इट डजंट नेसेसरीली मीन आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड f इक्वल्स m ए well there are lots of over complications in certain problems of course i understand that lekin agar hum log actually us question ko samajhte hain ya fir use approach kar sakte hain ya fir aisa koi bhi simple basic sa problems it is not necessary ki you are just going in the toughest kind of problems and you are trying to find the toughest problems on that particular topic kyunki then it will go straight down to mathematics which is something that we don't have to do we have to learn the mathematics do the mathematics also while carrying an intuition for the subject for the field so it's like you need to do the mathematics you need to solve the problem and just so that you can actually understand the concept and revise the concept that is why you need to do it now the another question comes that why should we do it in the first place it's like why learn physics and that's a that's indeed a very important question that you, many of you might ask ki hame physics seekhna kyon hai why should we learn physics in the first place well then again as i told in my yesterday's video of mine ki how the idea of physics came to be it was basically until the late 18th century physics was called natural philosophy and why was it natural philosophy and what uh, is its connection with philosophy in the first place well philosophy tells you of a way to live it tells you the way you should live and philosophy tells you about how things work and how things operate and physics tells you of course the very same thing from a quantitative perspective now philosophy mein kya hai i will basically see now there are lots of different branches to philosophy as well usme se ye jo natural philosophy hai this explains you the behavior of bodies and natural philosophy is studied quantitatively when it was when a people started studying natural philosophy quantitatively and that was of course the mathematical principles of natural philosophy newton's principia and from there you see the birth of modern physics came to be or at least modern physics when i say modern physics in this sense i mean physics apart from the ideas and fallacies of aristotle or aristotelian ideas now the thing is कि सिंस फिलोसफी का सोल पर्पज होता है आपको बताना दैट हाउ दिस वर्ल्ड वर्क एंड जस्ट इफ द वर्ल्ड वर्क दिस वे और दैट वे और दैट वे सो इफ देर आर फैक्ट और इफ देर आर नॉट फैक्ट देर आर ओनली इंटरप्रिटेशन सो वॉट इज द करेक्ट वे ऑफ लिविंग नाउ टू एक्चुअली फाइंड अ वेरी प्रॉपर वे टू लिव यू मस्ट बी एबल टू नो हाउ where are you living right now so you are living on this earth right now on this planet you need to understand this planet so if you want to basically have a meaningful life you need to understand what life is and what consciousness is at least you should give it your best shot to understand what this life is well i want to have a meaningful life so you need to understand what a life is what consciousness is where are you going to have a meaningful life and how do you do all that well to understand consciousness even Now, consciousness की फील्ड में ऑब्वियसली काफी रिसर्च हो रही है पीपल क्लेम की कॉन्शियसनेस का कनेक्शन क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स से भी हो सकता है सो वी आर एंड रियली वेरी श्योर ऑफ दैट बट यू सी दैट जस्ट इनसाइडर हेड्स इज द मोस्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स मशीन 
in the entire universe and that is our brain now how does the brain operate you need to question it how does the brain operate so to understand how does the brain operate and we still haven't understood it entirely ki brain ke functions kaise hote is the brain merely a quantum computer the question is of course so it might be merely a quantum computer who knows but as of the current evidences they suggest that it is not really much of a quantum computer lekin since hamare brain mein you will see there are all these cells now the question is agar aap ek cell ko bhi lo or any piece of matter that you find here and there but we are talking about brain so there are these neurons and all that are going here and there inside our brains and if you zoom them in what you'll find is atoms so the even the cells themselves are made of atoms and richard feynman ne kaha tha unhone feynman lectures on physics mein bataya right just at the very beginning ki agar puri scientific knowledge and he literally said it puri scientific knowledge खत्म हो जाती एंड हमें मौका मिलता सिर्फ एक सेंटेंस या फिर एक फैक्ट पास करने का फ्यूचर जनरेशन को तो वो फैक्ट होना चाहिए दैट एवरीथिंग इज मेड अप ऑफ एटम्स एवरीथिंग इज मेड अप ऑफ एटम्स एंड देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट मच ऑफ द रेस्ट फ्रॉम इट नाउ हियर यू सी यू विल जूम इन ऑन अ सेल एंड यू विल फाइंड दैट देर आर एटम्स इफ यू डू इट विद इन प्रसिजन नाउ एंड मैग्निफिकेशन एंड यू विल फाइंड दोज एटम्स तो अगर सिंस वो सेल्स एटम्स के बने हैं अगर आपने उन एटम्स के मोशन को अंडरस्टैंड कर लिया और उनके बिहेवियर को अंडरस्टैंड कर लिया यू अंडरस्टैंड द बिहेवियर ऑफ द सेल ऑफ दिस न्यूरॉन इनसाइड योर ब्रेन सो व्हाट यू नीड टू डू यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉज ऑफ द एटम्स एंड व्हेन यू गेट दोज लॉज ऑफ द एटम्स यू गेट द लॉज ऑफ द न्यूरोन्स एंड यू गेट द लॉज ऑफ द ब्रेन सो वॉट इज अ क्वेस्ट राइट नाउ यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉज ऑफ द एटम्स Now the thing is that atoms are not very very fundamental on their own either. You zoom in on the atoms and you'll find there are electrons and protons and neutrons inside them. So now, now you have to understand their laws. Understand them, but they are not very fundamental either. You zoom in on them and you find quarks. So they are made of quarks. So at least in the standard model, you'll find quarks are the most elementary particles, most fundamental particles. तो अगर आपने इस रेंज को अंडरस्टैंड कर लिया इनके लॉस को अंडरस्टैंड कर लिया सो लेट्स आई अंडरस्टैंड द लॉज ऑफ द क्वार्क्स व्हाट आर द लॉज दैट गवर्न क्वार्क्स वेल दे आर क्वांटम फील्ड थियोरीज और रिलेटिविस्टिक क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स नाउ द थिंग इज कि अगर मैंने यहाँ की पूरी क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स अंडरस्टैंड कर लिया सो आई कैन ब्रिंग इट ऑन अ माइक्रोस्कोपिक लेवल और मे बी ऑन द लेवल ऑफ अ न्यूरोन आई कैन ब्रिंग इट टू द लेवल ऑफ अ ब्रेन and when i do that and when i understand consciousness side by side then i can actually understand how the most complex machine in the known universe the known to us works or behaves how our brain works so here you see the idea ki physics kaise aaya it came out as natural philosophy and philosophy is just the way that you have to live and you must live because philosophy tells you the way you should live and if that is the way you should live and why does it tell you or how does it tell you so well it basically tells you about what is the meaning of life or what is basically this place that you are living in well you are living in this universe or in the known universe visible universe right now and since you are living in the visible universe right now you need to understand this visible universe and when you understand this visible universe then only you can understand in these laws that govern the visible universe that gone a universe on a macroscopic level or a microscopic level then you can actually understand what this life truly is and jab aap is life ko actually mein understand kar sakte ho then only you can understand the meaning of human existence so it all comes down to one thing and i am not even talking about aapko physics us liye seekhne hai kyunki aap isse engineering kar sakte ho aur physics seekh ke aapki package itni hogi aur physics seekh ke आप इस कंपनी में काम कर सकते हो और यू कैन बिकम दिस गुड अ कोडर और समथिंग द थिंग इज आई एम टॉकिंग इट एट एट एन अल्टीमेट यू सी ग्रांड स्केल आई वॉन्ट टॉक कि कैसे फिजिक्स आपको आपकी वेजेस में हेल्प करेंगे आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट आई एम टॉकिंग दैट वाई लर्न फिजिक्स इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस वाई डज फिजिक्स एग्जिस्ट इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस बिकॉज फिजिक्स इज गोइंग टू टेल यू वॉट इज द एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ ह्यूमन एग्जिस्टेंस as stephen hawking writes in the last sentence in his book a brief history of time unhone last sent- last sentence mein bataya last paragraph mein bataya 
that when we discover this ultimate theory and what is this ultimate theory that he talks about well he talks about this ultimate theory the theory of everything the one single theory jo ki puri universe ko govern karti and when he talks when he says this ultimate theory that is the theory of everything he tells us that once we know this theory once it is accessible and once it is understandable to us that will be the ultimate ट्रम्प ऑफ ह्यूमन रीजन फॉर देन वी नो द माइंड ऑफ गॉड तो यहाँ पे अगर हम लोग एक्चुअल में इन फिजिकल प्रिंसिपल को अंडरस्टैंड कर सकते हैं या फिर उन्हें कॉम्प्रीहेंड कर सकते हैं सो वी कैन एक्चुअली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज अर प्लेस इन दिस यूनिवर्स बिकॉज देन वी माइट फाइंड आउट कि कैसे इस यूनिवर्स की शुरुआत हुई वेल अकॉर्डिंग टू करेंट मॉडल इट इज फ्रॉम नथिंग सो इट्स लाइक नथिंग एग्जिस्ट एंड द यूनिवर्स कम्स आउट ऑफ दैट द बिग बैंग Well, how is it possible that nothing exists and something can come out of nothing? We'll study the standard model in general relativity, and you know how something comes out of nothing. Now, if you have a special place in your heart for God, then I have no offense against that either, as I myself am a believer. But the thing is, कि यहाँ पे science, as far as science can tell us. not on a very spiritual level of course but as far as physics can tell us that how the things are governed and how their behaviors are affected by other things in their environment to isi ko ek grand scale pe ek ultimate scale pe agar hum log understand karna chahe we might understand how our brain works because of course we don't do right now lekin agar hum log aise advancement in physical theories and i am talking about physics not biology lekin with the advancement in physical theories we might understand on very small scale how things truly work and so do on grand scales we might understand that how everything around us was created we might solve so many of the unsolved problems in physics or regarding our universe right now and once we do that we can actually understand this reality that we talk about or think about kya ye actual mein real hai or this reality that we think is it as real as we think it to be or is it a single reality that we perceive or maybe the kind of reality that i am perceiving is so different uh, from your reality from the kind of reality that you perceive so these kind of questions and these kind of philosophical questions as well can only be answered with more advancement in physical theories and when these advancement occurs and you actually understand the meaning behind all of this and you are able to uh, comprehend that then you get to know the what is the actual meaning of life or what is the meaning of human existence in this universe itself what is the meaning of consciousness or what is the place of consciousness in this universe and once you do that that is basically how you find ki agar hum log zinda bhi hain so what is the ultimate reason that we are alive now i know this gets on a very philosophical level and i now i might be talking even like a philosopher but the thing is what i am trying to tell you is that why physics is important because it tells you ultimately on a grand scale how the universe behaves and maybe even why it behaves this way so that is how i can act, i can at least motivate you to study physics kyunki jab aap physics ko understand kar karte ho you understand the way the world works you understand the way life works or any other thing works and i really do hope that such a theory come out to be and, and we are able to discover such a theory the theory of everything kyunki usse hum log in sare questions ka answer dhoond sakte and that is the reason we must study physics and well in case you are not actually interested in these grand questions that physics might answer to us in the in the future well you may be in some other field you might like the very aesthetic side instead of mathematical uh, side of this nature of this universe and you might just come uh, come out to be a painter or something well of course universe ne aesthetic ko bhi ek jagah di hai in a universe this this the way we are living right now so aesthetics has its own values have nothing against that either but the thing is that physics if you want to understand how the world works you need to understand physics that was all i had to say in this video of mine and thanks to all of us